Hi, my name's Tom, and today I'm looking at the brand new ZenBook Pro Duo, also known as the UX581. Incorporating the brand new ASUS ScreenPad Plus, the ZenBook Pro Duo features a unique 4K secondary touchscreen alongside its main 15.6 inch 4K ultra high definition OLED touchscreen. That's right, this laptop not only has two screens, but they're both 4K touchscreens. What's more, the primary display has ultra slim bezels, giving you more screen in a smaller package, a whopping 89% screen to body ratio to be exact. Now, if you're a professional graphic designer or a video editor, color accuracy is likely a top priority when buying your next monitor or laptop, and ASUS knows that making sure what you see on your screen is accurate is key. The ZenBook Pro Duo has a cinema-grade 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, which is widely used in the motion picture industry. So it not only has the multitasking dual screen element going for it, but also the professional color accuracy too. Now, I may have not been entirely truthful so far. This secondary display isn't actually a second screen. In fact, it's a fully thought out phone-like interface built with a series of pre-installed apps and functions to make working with it that much easier. Of course, like a second monitor, you can select what display function best suits your need at the time, whether that be screen extender mode, duplicate mode, or just turning it off completely. But it's when the ASUS ScreenPad Plus works alongside third-party programs is when it really shines. Compatible apps, including the professional video editing software developer Coral, have specialist functions on the ScreenPad, and these apps enhance the experience working with a number of different programs. Okay, okay, so we've taken a quick look at the ZenBook Pro Duo ScreenPad, but it's what's on the inside that counts, right? Powered by up to a 9th generation Intel Core CPU and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU, this ultra-powerful combination gives the ZenBook Pro Duo the ability to take on professional quality tasks. Things like multi-layer photo or video editing, 3D graphics rendering, or even live streaming games. And it probably comes as no surprise when I say that the ZenBook Pro Duo doesn't compromise on connectivity for professionals either with two USB 3.1 ports, one on either side, an audio jack port, the latest Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port, HDMI port, and a DC input for your power. But that's it for this video. I wish we had more time to cover all the crazy features this laptop has, including the latest ASUS number pad, but if you want to find out more about the ZenBook Pro Duo, be sure to click the link in the description and subscribe for more feature videos and ASUS announcements. Hi guys, Tom here with another ASUS feature video. This time we're taking a look at the groundbreaking new VivoBook S14, also known as the S432. Combining the vibrant colours of the new VivoBook style with the innovative second generation of ASUS ScreenPad technology, this laptop is all about looking good but performing even better. Laptops shouldn't always have to be silver and black, and that's why the new VivoBook S14 comes in a variety of bold and unique colour blocking styles. These latest colour combinations and exquisite finishes highlight the intricate designs of the VivoBook S14. Here, for example, we have the VivoBook S14 in moss green and accented with an energetic orange, giving it a real natural aesthetic that is sure to turn heads. But to find your perfect colour, check out the whole spectrum through the link in the description. Now, it's pretty much impossible to speak about the VivoBook S14 without mentioning its brand new feature, the ScreenPad 2.0. Designed to upgrade your traditional laptop experience, the 5.65-inch interactive touchscreen unlocks endless possibilities. Utilising a smartphone-like interface, the newly optimised ScreenPad ensures your favourite apps such as Evernote and Spotify work perfectly on this secondary display, without the need for a ScreenPad-specific version. ASUS have also pre-installed a selection of apps designed to work with Microsoft Office programs, as well as working closely with other third-party developers, including video editing software developer Coral, and as development continues, there is much more to come. But that's enough about the secondary display, let's talk about the main event. The VivoBook S14's new four-sided nano-edge display has minuscule 5.3mm thin bezels for an almost bezel-free experience. This 88% screen to body ratio is further enhanced by a 178 degree wide viewing angle, which is perfect for sharing work or watching a movie. 
But let's talk about the ports on the VivoBook S14. On one side we have two USB 2.0 ports and a micro SD card reader, and on the other side we have your power input, HDMI port, USB 3.1 port, USB-C port, and your audio jack. And the VivoBook S14 wouldn't be complete without the latest staple of ASUS innovation, the ErgoLift hinge. Precision engineered, the ErgoLift hinge has a silky smooth dual action that can hold the display securely at any angle, and it slightly tilts the keyboard by 3.5 degrees to give you a perfect typing position every time. And to make the deal even sweeter, the VivoBook S14 comes as an ultra-portable package. At an ultralight 1.4kg and just 18mm thin, you can simply slip it into your messenger bag or backpack and away you go. Acer Swift 5 is ideal for an on-the-go lifestyle. It's so light you forget you're carrying it. This 15.6 inch laptop is packed with great features and weighs under 1kg. The Swift 5 is made with lighter yet stronger materials, magnesium aluminum and magnesium lithium alloys. MicroArc oxidation creates a durable finish. There's no need to worry that this lightweight device can't handle the challenges of daily life. Just slide it into your bag and go about your day. With the 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display and a 5.87 millimeter bezel, you get more screen space in a smaller chassis. Its screen to body ratio is 87.6%. That's right, 87.6. So it's great for watching movies and enjoying other content. Guess what? It also has a touchscreen, allowing you to multitask without missing a beat. You can easily interact with a whole range of apps. The Swift 5's 8th Gen Intel Core i7 processor helps apps load faster and allows multiple tasks to run simultaneously without lag. Next generation wireless technology is up to 5 times faster, so you won't be kept waiting and waiting and waiting when you move or upload files. Leave your battery charger at home, because this laptop will work up to 10 hours straight. Forget about the extra weight and wires in your bag. Maximize your capabilities and minimize your burden with this ultra-portable laptop. Travel lightly, but fully equipped. Less weight on your body and less weight on your mind. Acer Swift 5. The Triton 500. Like the 700 before it, the 500 is all metal and has a Z height of 17.9 millimeters and weighs in at around 2.1 kilograms, making it the ideal go here, go there, play anywhere machine. And if you do travel, chances are you have plenty of peripherals in tow. But with the 500, you have plenty of ports, three USB 3.1, a USB-C Thunderbolt 3, HDMI 2.0, and mini display port. But enough about that, let's talk about the design. Both the Tritons, the 500 and the 700, boast a 15.6 inch display. But the 500 has a smaller chassis, making it even easier to carry around. So you have a smaller body, but you also have more viewable screen due to the 500's narrow frame design. Results in an 81% screen to body ratio on a bright 300 nit IPS display. So while IPS means stronger colors, it's the tech driving the display that really makes it shine. It supports up to a 144Hz refresh rate, 3 millisecond overdrive response time, and NVIDIA G-Sync. These three technologies are really important because while gaming, they keep your playing tear-free and seamless. And the Full HD resolution, hitting those high frames is easy thanks to what's hidden away inside. So what have we hidden away in the aluminum frame? We have a 6-core, 8th Gen Intel Core i7 8750H processor, overclockable GeForce RTX 2080 with Max-Q design, 32GB of DDR4 RAM at 2066MHz, and two M.2 NVMe PCIe SSDs in RAID 0. With 1TB options available, this is seriously a lot of power in a small chassis, which is why, when it comes to thermals, only the best would do. Like all Predator laptops, the Triton 500 uses our custom Aeroblade 3D fan technology, the latest of which was inspired by Silent Owl flight mechanics. The newest generation provides superior cooling over previous gens while reducing overall noise. Add in the 3-fan cooling system and 5 copper heat pipes and you have a system designed to maintain a constant chill. Okay, now let's talk about the keyboard. The Predator Triton 500 is the first of our laptops that feature our own Predator typeface. Has see-through concave shaped keycaps for WASD, 
you know, in case you lose track of them during an intense match, and features two other keys you'll want to take note of, Turbo and Predator Sense. Tap Turbo for instant overclocking, or load up Predator Sense. Within the Utility app, you can access overclocking, overdrive settings, RGB lighting profiles, and more. So I'm joined here today by two laptops, the Swift One and the Swift One. Now they're both very stylish laptops, both with a premium feel and both with a very fair price point. However, this one is quite obviously pink. <laughs> Let's find out more about the Swift Ones. First off, they look and feel high-end. They have an all-metal chassis that comes in four colorways, I believe. So the two I have in front of me are Sakura Pink and Sparkly Silver. Although I am yet to see any sparkles in the Sparkly Silver, it's actually a very nice, deep, muted, like, grey colour. The other two colorways, I believe, are Gold and Green. Now, the display on the Swift One, I actually really like. It's a 14-inch Full HD IPS display. The bezel is very narrow at 6.3 millimetres, and the screen folds out comfortably to 180 degrees and it has a lip at the top for easy opening as well. And even though it's 14 inches, it actually doesn't feel small. The number pad has been omitted from the keyboard, which means the keys actually have enough room. It doesn't feel too cramped. And it leaves space for a very good sized trackpad at the bottom and palm rest area. There's a fingerprint reader to the side and the ports in the laptop are three USB 3.1s, two of which are type A's, one of which is a type C, an older USB 2.0, a HDMI port, a headphone jack, Kensington lock slot, and an SD card slot, which is, Still my favourite, I don't know why. <laughs> and all the ports are based to the back of the laptop, which means you won't have any kind of cables trailing all over your hands when you're trying to do work or just rest your palms, which is pretty nice. So they come with the options of an Intel Solarium or Intel Pentium processor, the top end being an Intel Pentium N5000. And to be honest, the benefits of a CPU with low power consumption is that it gives the Swift One a battery life of up to 20 hours. This paired with the fact that it weighs 1.6 kilograms means you can just throw it in your bag, not even take the charger with you and kind of forget it's there. It's definitely a laptop to take out and about with you. It also comes with Intel's integrated UHD graphics, up to 8GB of DDR4 RAM and up to 256GB of SSD. Overall, I actually really enjoyed the Swift One. I didn't know if I would, but I definitely do. I think the look is very premium and the colours, come on, they're just fun. I mean, Sakura Pink, thats it's whimsical and it will definitely get some attention if you ever whip this bad boy out in public. So yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think down below of the Swift Ones and if you would get one, which colour you'd get.